in the sprawling metropolis of Los Angeles, where dreams and ambitions intertwined, an unsettling presence loomed beneath the surface. Richard Ramirez, a man with a tormented past, emerged from the recesses of society to cast a malevolent shadow that would leave an indelible mark on the city's history. Richard's early life was a mosaic of dysfunction and darkness. Born into a tumultuous household, he witnessed violence and abuse that etched scars deep into his psyche. The seeds of his malevolence took root in these formative years, planting a twisted worldview that would unravel as he matured. The turning point came when Ramirez stumbled upon a trove of macabre imagery, graphic depictions of violence, horror, and the morbid. These twisted fascinations, coupled with his own inner demons, fused into a potent cocktail that would drive him to commit acts of unspeakable cruelty. The boundaries between fantasy and reality blurred as Ramirez began to formulate his sinister plans. As he grew older, Richard's demeanor became increasingly unsettling. His once bright eyes seemed to carry the weight of the darkness he harbored within. The streets of Los Angeles became his hunting grounds, and the veil of night provided cover for his malevolent pursuits. With the setting sun, Ramirez metamorphosed into the Night Stalker, a figure who thrived under the cover of darkness. His attire, a mishmash of black clothing, shrouded his intentions as he moved with predatory grace through the city's alleys and streets. The very air seemed to thicken with dread as he approached his victims' homes. The brutality of his attacks was both shocking and senseless. Ramirez showed no mercy, subjecting his victims to unspeakable horrors. The sounds of their screams reverberated through the night, a chilling reminder of the evil that walked among them. The city that had once been alive with activity now cowered behind locked doors, haunted by the fear of the unknown. The Night Stalker's approach was methodical and chillingly calculated. Slipping through unlocked windows and doors, he invaded homes that had once felt secure, turning them into chambers of horror. The silence of the night was shattered by the cacophony of screams as residents awoke to find themselves trapped in a nightmare they could never have imagined. The visceral brutality of Ramirez's attacks sent shockwaves through the city. His victims, chosen seemingly at random, spanned all walks of life, creating an atmosphere of uncertainty and paranoia. The city's once lively streets were now haunted by the specter of an invisible predator, a malevolent force that defied comprehension. As news of the Night Stalker's reign of terror spread, fear became a palpable presence that infiltrated every corner of Los Angeles. No longer could families sleep soundly or children play carefree in their neighborhoods. The shared sense of security that had bound the community was shattered, replaced by whispered tales of the horrors that had unfolded. In the heart of this terror, the Night Stalker's actions took on an even more disturbing dimension. At each crime scene, he left behind cryptic messages and symbols, turning his atrocities into a sickening puzzle. These enigmatic markings served as a taunt to law enforcement, a testament to his perceived superiority over those who sought to stop him. As the city grappled with the enigma of the Night Stalker, its citizens found themselves united by a common fear. The shadow that had fallen over Los Angeles was a relentless reminder of the fragility of human security. Yet, even in the face of unspeakable horror, a resilient spirit emerged, a spirit that would eventually stand with as each a passing of day, hope the city's the once close knit to communities began to fracture. Neighbors eyed each other warily, wondering if the person living next door could be the Night Stalker. The sound of creaking floorboards in the night sent shivers down spines, and every unfamiliar face on the street became a potential threat. In response to the escalating fear, Los Angeles residents took matters into their own hands. Neighborhood watches sprang up, with vigilant citizens patrolling the streets to protect their families and homes. People fortified their houses with security systems, locked windows and doors, and exchanged phone numbers to stay connected in times of crisis. As the Night Stalker's reign of terror continued, the city found solace in unity. The very fear that had driven a wedge between neighbors also brought them together. In the face of a common enemy, 
Los Angeles residents set aside their differences to stand shoulder to shoulder against the malevolence that had infiltrated their lives. Acts of kindness became a counterpoint to the terror that gripped the city. Neighbors checked in on one another, providing reassurance and company during the long nights. Small gestures of support, a hot meal, a reassuring smile, became symbols of hope that humanity could prevail even in the darkest of times. However, the shadow of the Night Stalker remained relentless, and the city's collective determination was put to the test. Each new attack reignited the fear, like a smoldering ember threatening to burst into flames. The streets grew quieter, playgrounds emptier, as families retreated behind locked doors, yearning for the safety that had been stolen from them. Despite the pervasive fear, Los Angeles refused to succumb entirely. The resilience of its people was evident in their determination to restore normalcy to their lives. Courageous individuals continued to venture out at night, defying the darkness that sought to imprison them. And through their actions, they became beacons of hope, a reminder that strength could be found even in the most harrowing of circumstances. As the reign of terror orchestrated by the Night Stalker stretched on, the resolve of law enforcement to bring the elusive predator to justice grew stronger. The city of Los Angeles had become a battleground of fear and resilience with detectives and officers working tirelessly to unravel the enigma that had plagued their streets. The Night Stalker's attacks, marked by their brutality and randomness, presented a formidable challenge for the investigators. Each crime scene yielded scant evidence, as if the predator reveled in the chaos he left behind. But the police were undeterred, driven by an unwavering commitment to protect their community from the clutches of evil, as the body count continued to rise, the pressure on law enforcement intensified. The media's spotlight illuminated every misstep, every false lead, but it also served to unite the city in its collective desire for justice. A city under siege stood united in its demand for an end to the reign of terror that had torn families apart and shattered lives. Detectives sifted through mountains of evidence, chasing every lead and scrutinizing each piece of information with painstaking detail. The community, too, played an active role in the investigation. Tips poured in from vigilant citizens who were determined to play a part in the capture of the elusive Night Stalker. The very fear that had gripped the city now fueled a determination to reclaim its streets from darkness. The turning point came when a tip provided by a vigilant citizen who recognized a face from the media coverage, led the investigators to a breakthrough. A name and a face emerged from the shadows, and the hunt for Richard Ramirez began in earnest. The predator's identity was no longer a mystery, and the city's desperation for justice turned into a relentless pursuit of the man responsible for the unspeakable horrors. The investigation evolved into a complex dance between law enforcement and the Night Stalker, Ramirez, aware that the net was closing in, adapted his tactics, becoming even more elusive. His taunting messages and symbols at crime scenes only fueled the determination of those who sought to bring him to justice. The city's unity remained unshaken, a force to be reckoned with. As the Night Stalker's grip on the city weakened, his last desperate acts of violence became even more vicious. The culmination of the hunt was inevitable, and the tension that had gripped Los Angeles reached its peak. The predator who had once held the city hostage was now running out of places to hide. As the investigation reached its zenith, Los Angeles held its collective breath, poised on the precipice of closure. The community's shared commitment to survival, resilience, and justice had brought them to this moment. The predator had been identified, and the city was on the brink of reclaiming its sense of security. The city of Los Angeles stood on the threshold of justice as the Night Stalker, once a faceless terror, was unmasked as Richard Ramirez. The man responsible for the gruesome reign of terror now faced the consequences of his actions in a trial that would captivate the nation and leave an indelible mark on history. The courtroom buzzed with anticipation as survivors and their families took their places, their eyes fixed on the man who had shattered their lives. 
Richard Ramirez, the embodiment of evil, sat in the defendant's chair, his chilling gaze unflinching. The trial was more than a legal proceeding. It was a confrontation between the darkness that had once held the city captive and the collective will to see justice served. The stories that unfolded in the courtroom were a harrowing testament to the depths of human depravity. Survivors, their voices steady but hearts heavy, recounted the horrors they had endured at the hands of the Night Stalker. Each testimony was a powerful affirmation of the resilience of the human spirit, a refusal to be defined by the malevolence that had sought to break them. As the evidence mounted, the case against Ramirez became undeniable. His fingerprints, his footprints, and the chilling messages he had left at crime scenes all pointed to his guilt. But it was the survivors' accounts that resonated most deeply, as their unwavering strength contrasted starkly with the emptiness in the eyes of the man who had once been their tormentor. The trial was a media spectacle, drawing attention from around the nation. The public was consumed by the details of the case, their fascination driven by a desire to understand the incomprehensible. The cryptic symbols and messages that had once taunted investigators were now presented in a courtroom, a stark reminder of the malevolence that had gripped the city. As the trial neared its climax, the survivors faced their tormentor one final time, this time from the witness stand. Their words were a resounding rejection of the darkness that had sought to consume them. The courtroom, once a theater of fear, had become a place of empowerment as the survivors found strength in solidarity. The verdict, when it came, was a cathartic moment for the city. Richard Ramirez was found guilty of his heinous crimes, his fate sealed by the weight of the evidence and the courage of those who had faced him down. The gavel's final strike was a declaration that the Night Stalker's reign of terror was over, that evil would not triumph. The trial of Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, was more than a legal proceeding. It was a testament to the triumph of justice over darkness. The survivors who had faced unspeakable horrors emerged as beacons of hope, their resilience a reminder that the human spirit could endure even in the face of unimaginable cruelty. The trial marked the turning point for a city that had been haunted by fear, and it paved the way for healing, unity, and the reclamation of its sense of security. The final chapter of the Night Stalker's story was as chilling as his reign of terror. After being sentenced to death for his heinous crimes, Richard Ramirez's fate was sealed. He spent years on death row, his name synonymous with evil. Yet, even in his confinement, he maintained a certain aura of malevolence, an embodiment of the darkness that had once gripped the city. In 2013, Richard Ramirez's life came to an end. He died in prison from complications related to B-cell lymphoma. His demise marked the end of an era, one that had seen the rise of terror, the triumph of justice, and the city's journey toward healing. Ramirez's death was met with a mix of emotions, from relief to closure, as Los Angeles bid farewell to the man who had once held it captive. As the city moved forward, the memory of the Night Stalker began to fade, replaced by stories of survival, resilience, and unity. Los Angeles had weathered the storm, emerging stronger and more united than ever. The echoes of the past served as a reminder of the darkness that could emerge from within, but they were overshadowed by the triumph of the human spirit and the city's unyielding commitment to hope, healing, and renewal. As the years went by, the city evolved. The once empty playgrounds began to fill with laughter once more and the fear that had once lurked in the shadows began to recede. Los Angeles rediscovered its spirit, refusing to let the legacy of the Night Stalker define its identity. The scars remained, but they served as a reminder of the strength that had emerged from the darkness.